Hello, George here. Hey, you know, I found this painting on the internet. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, the uh, paint, paint, painting of a chess game. I think they, they, it's called The Game of Life by a painter whose name I can't pronounce. Anyway, I've, I'll uh, put the, the real info in the description box. It seems here that this is a painting that shows um, Satan on one side playing black and uh, our protagonist, some sort of royal court courtier playing white and it seems like white is losing and that black is confident and isn't it like that when uh, sometimes when gay the game of life like life now uh, unfolds it seems like evil is winning and the good is losing but the devil always believes you see that uh, he can beat God in chess and if God is on your side you cannot lose because God is infinite, sees the beginning from the end. He knows the ending of all things and the end is good. So not evil. Evil has no future. Good will be forever. And so when you're faced with challenges in life, like now we have many challenges, it seems evil is winning. Uh, in the recent uh, U.S. elections, it seems the the people who are cheating are gonna get their way, and uh, you know it, and violence, and anti-Christian thoughts are gonna dominate the world. And it may appear like that, the same way that it may appear that the chess pieces are threatening your white pieces and seem threatening to overwhelm them. But God always sees an infinite number of moves ahead and for God he can never lose something the devil never realizes you know this painting uh, the, the American Grand Master Paul Morphy was an American Grand Master in the 19th century uh, he looked at this painting and he set up the pieces for white and black and he found out that white would win and he, you know, he challenged many people in, uh, I think, in a salon to play black and he would play white. And he always won as white. So even when things are seeming to be hopeless, remember that God is in control. That Jesus always saves. And that at the end, evil will never triumph. That has been the lesson of history. This has happened before. It will happen again. The times that we are living in are very extraordinary. Remember in 1917, Our Lady appeared in Fatima, in the apparition in Fatima, to three shepherd children in 1917. And we are a little over 100 years from that time. And she did say that her Immaculate Heart would triumph in the end. You know, the Spanish flu, that pandemic that devastated the world, occurred after Fatima. In fact, two of the seers um, died of the Spanish flu. And look at us now, a hundred years from now. In 2017, a few years from now, and what we have? we have another pandemic, another flu pandemic. History seems to be rhyming. Maybe there is about something unexpected and glorious is about to take place. Maybe Our Lady is about to make her move. White Queen to move. Enjoy the show. This is George signing off.